just got an email from the IB about the new ESS course overview. So this is literally my first look at the new syllabus. I've thrown together a few quick slides. I want to look at this before I have a chance to do a deep dive, give you a quick heads up about how the new ESS class is going to look starting in August of 2024. All right, let's get into it. Right, first we have here. main difference is there's finally a higher level course. We teachers have been waiting for this for 10 years. There have been discussions, hot, cold. We finally have a higher level offering for ESS, which will give students a lot more options in a lot of different schools. The second thing I notice is that the essential ideas from the previous syllabus have now become central concepts. And those are six big concepts that should tie all of the different topics in the syllabus together. Seems like much of the syllabus is relatively similar topic-wise to the old syllabus, but the main difference coming out of that higher level edition is three new topics at higher level, and that's environmental law, environmental economics, and environmental ethics. But let's look at the syllabus. Okay, here's the official outline from the IB, and if you'll notice, SL and HL students are all going to be taking topic one foundations for 16 teaching hours or about 16 lessons. That's environmental perspectives, systems, and sustainability. So a lot of things carried over from the old topic one. Beginning with topic two, there are differences in the syllabus for HL and SL students. Topic two, ecology. Topic three, biodiversity and conservation. Topic four, water. Topic five, land. Six, atmosphere and climate change. All of those are very, very similar, even in the same sequence as they were in the old syllabus. The main difference there is that atmosphere and climate change, which used to be two separate topics, have now been combined into one because they are, in fact, inseparable. Then we've got topic seven, natural resources, which has been pulled from the old topic eight, as well as some of the ideas of natural capital from the old syllabus in topic one. And that becomes our new topic seven. Topic eight is all about human populations and urban systems because urban areas or cities are where the human population is growing fastest. Let's take a look at the higher level lenses. There are three main topics in higher level and that's environmental law, environmental economics, and environmental ethics. Those three will have some overlap. I haven't had a chance to look into the detailed parts of the syllabus to see exactly what the expectations are. About how those are taught. I will come back to those in a subsequent video. Once You'll notice in the experimental program we're at 50 class hours now. We've got practical work as accounts for 30 hours for both higher level and standard level. The collaborative sciences project formerly known as the group 4 project accounts for 10 class hours and your individual investigation or the internal assessment also accounts for 10 hours. Assessment is going to be pretty much the same. Paper 1 will be a case study with a resource booklet and paper two is going to be split just like it has been in the past with a section A of short answers and section B consisting of those structured essays. Those two examinations that happen in late April or early May of 12th grade will account for 75% of a student's overall grade and the individual investigation or the internal assessment will be the remaining 25%. The differences in the new internal assessment and the old one are a little bit structural, right? We no longer have the planning and context section that's been replaced with a research question and inquiry, kind of a renaming the methodology, including primary and secondary data. That's not too dissimilar from the old internal assessment either. Treatment of data is a new part for the internal assessment. So I think when we start digging into this, we're gonna see a lot more information about statistical analysis the analysis and conclusion, using that treatment of data to actually reach a conclusion. I think maybe a more rigorous examination of the interplay of science and mathematics and used to actually understand patterns in nature. Then the evaluation of the method. This is pretty cool. I'm excited about this. New syllabus, there hasn't been one for a long time. I'm ready to get in and get started taking it apart, pulling materials from the old syllabus, rearranging them a bit, repurposing them and beginning a deeper investigation into all of the cool and exciting things that the ESS has to offer. Thanks for watching my quick preview. I'll see you next time.